Hi everybody, it's Noelia with My Moxie Dreams. Thanks for joining me today. Today we are setting up our February theme and switching out my pocket moleskin daily. Yes, you heard me, switching out my pocket moleskin daily. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. And if you do, I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. For everybody else, welcome back. The saga continues. If you're watching this, hopefully you would have already watched the video. I believe I titled it, The Tales of the Moleskine Paper. If you haven't seen that, go watch that because that's gonna tell you all the things about the Moleskine 24, 23, 24 part two. I'm not gonna go into it in this video, but a quick synopsis is I ordered a brand new 2024 due to the quality of the paper in this 2024. This is the first one. I purchased this one directly from Moleskine. The quality of the paper, if you've seen other Plan With Me's with me this year, you have heard me complain and moan about this particular paper. So uh, as you can see here, I, I didn't even do the plan with me all the way to the 31st because I wrote down so that I knew what to put in my new moleskin. But yeah, you can see right here, just the, the paper quality is horrendous. So we are going to take this baby out. For those of you who remember, this is our January theme. She's absolutely gorgeous. I love her but we're gonna put her away and we are going to pull out this entire 2024 book. I was going to do a video where, I'm gonna move my little eternal leather goods to the side. I was going to do a video transferring everything over, but the reality was, I'm gonna be completely honest, my OCD for the last week and my anxiety has been through the roof, like, through the roof. I had to talk to my doctor and try to figure out another method of control because it was really bad. And I wanted to do a video showing me set up the new 2024 and transferring information to the 2024, but mentally I just couldn't get there to do a video. And I was so anxious about hurrying up to take everything out of here to put it into here because I was feeling like I was behind, if that makes sense. So unfortunately, I didn't do a video as I set up the new 2024, but I am gonna show you what I did. Um, there's a couple of things I did different. And um, I even, this is this tells you how OCD and, and like how my brain, I even ordered the new, the exact same sticker because my brain already tells me this is what you had. You have to do it exactly like you had it. And so I ordered the same sticker, but I did change some of the insides because when I did this one, I had screwed it up so bad that I had to cover these two pages in a way that I would have not normally covered them. So we're going to put the first 2024 that has horrible paper in it horrible paper in it and we are going to put get the new 2024 i'll do a flip through and then we'll set up february i'm not going to put the sticker on right now and like i said the only reason being is that my ocd is like really bad right now and i don't want to have an episode on on, on video um, so I'm going to do this later. I'm not going to, I'm not going to push myself into a corner there and then get all freaked out. So, and I just want to say thank you for just thank you guys for understanding and for always being kind. I'm going to start crying. Oh my goodness. See, that's how you know I'm in a space. I'm so sorry, but at any rate, I just want to thank you guys. I really appreciate it. And I wish I could do a video capturing all the stuff that I do, but sometimes I just can't. And so instead, I'm going to share what I have. Okay, here we go. So everything's the same with the exception of a couple of things. 
or should, maybe should I do a side by side? Maybe I should do a side by side. Here is the first page. This is my new one. This is my bad one. We'll call her the bad moleskin. So what I did is I just, inst I was finding that here I had a hard back and here I had a hard back and it was getting, it was hard for me to get to that next page. It was cumbersome. So what I did here is just did the hard back on one side. I have a business card uh, adhesive where I'm able to put my family photo of my kids. I did do plan with B her holidays here because it was just a blank space that I didn't have anything for. And again, I didn't want to put another card stock, thick card stock because it was just too difficult. And then I have a little uh, thingy majigger, the little metal from Midori to just take me to the weight loss tracker. The second page was the same. I basically tore out, this was in here and I just tore it out and put it in here, tipped it in. And then the next page was the 2024 calendar, but here I had screwed it up so bad that I was like, crap, now I have to cover it all up. And I normally don't like this kind of like stuff. So thankfully I was in a really calm place and I just said, don't, this is one of the reasons why I didn't want to do the video online because I get really anxious about not doing it right. And so what I did is I took my little, I have these like press on florals and stickers and I just did all the florals, a really nice, beautiful neutral. And then I took my sand, I love this 990, and I just highlighted the months to give it some texture. So there's my monthly, my year at a glance that I didn't have here because I'd screwed it up. Okay, and then you go into your monthlies which again, um, I just, I white out the small uh, font. If you look here, I'm gonna show you guys all the different things here, if I have them. So if you look here, it's a really small font. And what I did is just white it out. And then on my silhouette, I create the size I want. And so I just added all the January, February through December. And then I basically just added the stickers exactly how they were. I haven't written down like the vacation time or anything that I'll do when I'm like in a quiet space, probably tonight. The new 2024 doesn't have enough pages up front to put all 12 trackers like the 23 did. So what I had to do, and you guys saw, I think I discussed it with you and when I set up the 2024, I just took pages from the old 23 I just literally ripped them out. I'm not gonna do it now, but I ripped two pages out and then I tipped them in here so that I would have those extra pages for all 12 months. That way I wouldn't have to give up the view of the 2025. And as a matter of fact, let's do our 2025 right now. Let's do, we want sand. I've been liking blue, you guys. I'm gonna do blue for the 2025. Let's just mark all the months in blue together. I don't know, this blue is just making me happy. I don't know, maybe because it's January, but anyways, you probably can't see it, but there's the little blues highlighted. So here I had lost that 2015 because I covered it up with trackers. I didn't want to do it in this one, so I just tipped in two additional pages from an old mole scheme. Okay, and then I just went ahead and just moved everything over. I added I added all the trackers. Again, took my uh, silhouette, I created all these different scripts and I added it so the entire year is now here. I transferred all the information from the January tracker to here. I haven't done the sleeping one. I'll do that probably again tonight. And then we get into the January month. And as you guys know, I use this gal as my marker for the day. And then I had this in here and I just, I used a blade and tore it out cleanly and now it's in here in the new one. And then basically you guys, I just did the exact same thing. 
I sat on Saturday or Sunday night. I just had, um, what did I watch? I don't know. I rewatched the traders, I think in the background and just started to do page by page exactly how I had it. Okay. So I'm going to put the old one away and, um, I'm just going to do a quick flip through of January so that we can start our February plan with me. Yeah, it was a lot of work to transfer everything over, but you guys know that for me, this is a reference planner. It's something that I'm able to go back to. It's not a planner in the sense that it's my everyday planner and I'm referencing it. It's more of at the end of the day or the, the beginning of the week, I put any appointments, but throughout in the evening, I'm like, okay, what did I do today? How long did I work, et cetera, et cetera. And so this is really a reference of how my day went and what did I complete? That way I have it. As you can see, look at this chunker. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my God, this 2023 was life. Okay, so now we're getting rid of our January theme. She was beautiful, right? She was absolutely gorgeous. All right, we're putting her away. Now, I was talking to my kids and we were talking about how it's the Chinese New Year is I think February 10th and it's the year of the dragon, which I am. And I thought, you know what? I wanna do some kind of Asian theme. I think it would be really cool. And sure enough, the second I put that out in the universe, I find a photo that I fall in love with. So are you ready? Here is February's photo. Now, many of you are probably saying, how come you didn't do anything like lovey-dovey? like I had in 2020, let's see what, I know I did something really cute and girly here. And yes, she's very cute and girly, beautiful floral. I don't wanna do the same thing every time. So I chose to do this beautiful, she's absolutely gorgeous. And what I did is I got the photo again on Pinterest. I will add this to our Pinterest board. If you don't know, somebody asked me to create a Pinterest board for all the monthly dashboards that I do. Again, I just post the photo that I pulled. I do not put the one that has all the additions to it because I do not own this photo. It is not something that I created. The only thing I do is I find a photo, I put it into Canva and I start to add elements that I know I can create as stickers. So this is our February theme. She will be added to the dashboard, Pinterest board. And then what I did is I created, so what I added were these little hexagons and paint stripes and so this is going to be i have some large ones and some small ones so this will be our stickers and it looks weird right now but when we put it together it's going to be absolutely gorgeous all right just stick with me guys i promise you that she's going to be gorgeous all right here we go all right so the tombow that i'm going to be using again i've been saying i've been into blue lately we're gonna be using 526, and let me see. 526 is true blue, okay? So this is 526 true, true blue. You guys have to go watch that other video. I'm gonna go all the way to, do we wanna go through the fourth? I think we should do all the way through the 10th because I'm not gonna be doing a video on Saturday. I'm doing all these videos now. So I'm gonna go through Saturday, Sunday, the 11th. So we'll do a few and we could chat. Um, you guys need to take a look at that video. I have a couple of videos coming out. It's a lot, a lot of videos, you guys. I have, okay, let me see. I have the pocket moleskin, tail of the pocket moleskin, paper. I should do this. I should put this in the thing. I don't like it like this. It's starting again. You guys, I'm in a zone and it's 
everything is getting on my nerves. Okay, so hopefully that'll be a little bit better because it's laying flat. There we go, Noelle, yeah, there we go. All right, so I have the tail of the pocket moleskin paper. All right. I am like really doing this bonkery, but it's okay. We have, I, I have another one. What did I do? Oh my God, am I not remembering what I'm doing? I just did two videos back to back. Oh, okay. Guys, something is wrong with me. Can you tell? Look at this. Take a deep breath. Go slow. You have no reason to rush. Everything is calm. Okay. So I did the pot, the, I keep saying the same thing. I did the tail of the pocket moleskin paper and we discuss and I give you samples. You guys should take a look at that one if you haven't already. I have my freebies video if you haven't paid attention if you're not on instagram i decided that i didn't want to do my itsy anymore i've been on vacation for and on pause for a while but so many of you have reached out um telling me you wanted the weeklies and also informing me about somebody else doing my weeklies and i just thought you know what i'm i don't I don't, whatever. I just want people to have them, especially my version. And so I'm doing mine as freebies on my website. And so I did a bunch of freebies, things that I sold on Etsy before. One, two, did I do this right? One, two, three, four. Did I do this right? Well, I either am or I'm not. It is what it is. So if you go to my website, you, there is a bunch of freebies that you can now download. And I hope you enjoy them. Thirteen. Why do I feel like stuff is off? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I don't know. It's just like I'm having a really hard time, you guys. This is you're seeing it firsthand but I know I need to get this video done, so I'm gonna just keep going. This is what happens when I'm under a lot of stress. January's been weird, and work-wise, things have been really difficult, and planner-wise, I don't know, I've been annoyed, and yeah, work has been extremely stressful, and normally I know like January is gonna be a tough month because I'm closing out the last year, and but this has been like a very bad, very bad. I'm trying to get on screen and clearly I'm having issues here. So anyways, how are you guys? You guys are gonna get a handful of videos from me. Have I finished that thought yet? Okay, so you've got freebie video You've got tails of the moleskin paper. You've got this February plan with me and moving out of the old and into the new. You've got, oh my word, there's a new addition to my planner, Franklin Covey line and I'm, I did a video asking for your guys' opinion. I don't even know if I'm gonna post that one. I might, it's already recorded, I just have to edit it. So if you wanna see the Franklin Covey Aurora journey that I've been on and com conflict that I'm in about it, leave a comment down below but I think I'll probably upload that for next week. And then there will be a video dropping and when it does, 
I think everybody's mouths are going to drop in disbelief. And I can't even tell you what that is yet because I'm just going to wait for the element of surprise for you guys. Sorry I'm off camera. My my camera thingy, my little thingamabop, it's not centered lately. It's on my desk, but it's not been centered, and so it's just been weird. But I don't want to stop. I'm going to try to not have to edit this too much. So you may hear things that I would normally um, edit out, like if I'm saying um too much or if I have some type of meltdown while I'm doing it, I may just leave it in because I don't want to have to spend hours. I don't want to have to spend hours editing when I have so many videos that are that need to come out. Okay, Sunday. Yay, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Do you guys remember Dora the Explorer before they made her weird looking? My kids used to love it. It's what's interesting is just the the evolution of stuff. Grab one of these sheets. We'll grab our time sheets. Okay, so funny story. Here we go. Let's get started. Let me get my. All right, funny story. Here we go. So when I was a kid. We were very poor. We lived in a migrant camp. My dad worked for, when he started with the company, he was with the company for 48 years, but when he started, he worked as a tractor driver and then became the head foreman of the uh, vineyard company after being there for 48 years when my dad finally retired. So we were poor and I didn't have a bed. I slept on a floor of a trailer. So we lived in a in a trailer and this part isn't the funny story, but you guys are going to get to know me. So here we go. I it was only two bedrooms. So it was my brother and his in a Mexican home. The the boy is treated like really highly. So and he was the eldest. So my brother got one room and my parents had the other room and then in between was the living room, the kitchen and the bathroom. And so my sister would sleep on the sofa and I would sleep on the floor next to her. Then when my brother moved out, he got married and moved out, my sister moved into the room and then I slept on the sofa. So the, you're in. we slept in the living room. So once my sister was in the bedroom, I could stay up and watch TV because my mom would go to bed. My dad, because he was up so early in the morning, they would conk out like at 8, 30, 9 o'clock. And my sister at that point had a job at McDonald's. So she would come home or late or she was with her boyfriend or her friends, whatever. I would stay up. This is how funny. Oh my God. It's not even where I was going with the story, but snorkels snorkels i'm gonna write it down because if i don't write it down i'm gonna forget snorkels noelia snorkels okay that's where i was actually going but we're going down la la lane with me okay so i would so nobody would pay attention to me like my mom it, it's a long story the point of the story is i would stay up and I'm a kid, I'm like nine or 10 maybe, I would stay up and watch Arsenio Hall. He used to come on right after the news at 11.30. And then if I was really not able to sleep and really in a crazy, you know, I would stay up and there was a show called Robert Downey Jr. He was like this aggressive dude and he would, it was like a talk show, but like way not for kids to watch he would come on but Arsenio Hall would come on and, and I just I loved Arsenio Hall I, I got introduced to so many different music and that's neither here nor there the point of the story is by sleeping in the living room of a trailer I had direct access to the TV as late as I wanted and as early as I wanted and so 
in the mornings, on Saturday mornings, everybody's asleep, I would turn on the TV and get my little bed all nestled right in front of the TV. And do you remember the TVs back in the 70s and 80s, guys? It's this huge freaking box. And I would sit in front of this box or lay down with my blanket in front of this box and watch She-Ra and... Um, What's the one? Gems, the gems and the, I can't remember, the misfits, gem and the misfits or whatever. I watched everything, okay? But one of my favorite, two of my favorite, of course, I mean, if you, if you don't know about the Smurfs, we shouldn't be friends, but the Smurfs and Smurfette, Papa Smurf, oh my God. I used to get up so early. It would be so hard for me to get up to go to school because I would, I would um, be watching Arsenio Hall until it finished at 12.30 at night. But on Saturdays, it was I would get up early because I wanted to see the cartoons and we didn't have cable. Like that was a time where people were, had these big, huge dishes out in their yards. You know, the kind that looked like the aliens were gonna come and, come down and like, it was bonkers. Oh my gosh, this is how old I am, you guys. Anyways, um, we didn't have cable. So when the TV started to, and mind you, here's the other thing. I have Hispanic parents. Like my dad only spoke Spanish. Um, he learned English very choppy uh, later in his adult life. So we would watch novelas all the time, which is basically Mexican soap operas. That was a whole other kind of stuff. So that was what they would watch during the during the evenings um, when we only had one TV. So me taking over the TV at night and in the mornings on Saturday was just like my gig. It was my thing and it was awesome. Okay, let's make sure I didn't skip anything, you guys. I guess we'll catch it when we catch it. And so, yeah, so Smurfs was a big one and Snorkels. I don't know if you guys remember this cartoon called Snorkels. Listen, if you guys are in your 20s and 30s, you have no freaking clue what the hell I'm talking about. But those of you in your 40s, like me, I'm, I'm in my late 40s, I'll be 40, am I gonna be 47 or 48? I don't even know, but I'm gonna be some somewhere around there. And Snorkels used to come on and man, I loved the snorkels. I loved it. I loved them so much. I don't know why. So fast forward, I get divorced and I move to a new city, like way across the state. And one of my best friends in high school, who by the way, I knew he had a crush on me because the last year of high school, he wrote in my yearbook how he was madly in love with me and he never had the courage to tell me and X, Y, and Z. Super nice kid. Yeah, super nice person. So, um, and, and just so we're clear, totally friend zoned. Never got out of the friend zone, okay? Never, not even a consideration. <laughs> and that, that's not a mean thing. That's just, it just was never a consideration for me. Anyways, I moved, I got divorced. He reached out and was like, hey, I'm heading your area. I'd like to take you to dinner. And again, I had to be very clear, friend zone, nothing, no expectations, nothing. Okay, that just got ripped the eight out. I was having issues with this bottom layer. I don't know why. I think I'm gonna have to cut a whole new set because only the top two seem to be working and okay where were we and so he comes to me and we have dinner and we're just back to how we were in high school just I had him for a couple of classes in science and math and we would just be dorks like it was just we would giggle all the time it was just he was a good friend like so we just fell into the giggling and acting stupid again and it was just it was it was fun and so he started coming out. What am I doing? What did, did I do the wrong thing? No, I don't know. I don't know what I did, but we're going to do it. And 
need to stick with it. The eight is really low. I don't know. It's because of the stupid marker. Anyways, and so it was just like we were in high school again, where we were just, you know, we'd go to McDonald's, act silly, but now we were adults and going to really high-end restaurants and going and watching cool movies. Like he, he would, you know, just come hang out with me. Again, friend zone. So one, you know, one time we were talking and, you know, during one of our dinners and we were talking about how old we were and the stuff we used to watch when we were kids, like different strokes and facts of life and all these cool shows that are no longer, they don't exist like they used to. Wonder years, things like that. And I was, I told him like, oh my gosh, there, do you remember the snorkels? And he's like, what the hell is that? He thought I was bonkers, which listen, I know I am, but I was like, come on, like we, the snorkels. If you guys know what the snorkels are, please leave a comment down below so that I know that we have more people out there who know what the snorkels are. <laughs> My daughter's yelling in the background. I know what the snorkels are. I will leave a photo somewhere on the screen for those who have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. So anyways, point of the story, next time he comes to dinner, you know, we would go to dinner once a month because he lived far away and it was just us catching up being dorks. And so one day, I think it was my birthday, he's like, oh, hey, I have a gift for you. And I'm like, oh, you know, you don't have to, blah, blah, blah. You know how women are. And he is, he has this thing for me. And so I open it. I'm trying to think what I'm going to try. We're going to try and see how this looks. And so I open the present and it was just like weird. You know how when, when stuff was like starting out, you could like burn your own CDs. Remember those days? <laughs> Again, all you young people who watch me, I'm telling you that I am old. Welcome to my oldness. All right, how do we like that? Let's see, where's our girl? Ooh, that's super pretty, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? So I, I created these stickers. These hexagons and this red stripe go with the red that she has. This blue goes with this really pretty blue here. Perfection. There is our February gal. My goodness, she's beauteous. I love her, you guys. I love her. All right, let's keep going. So I open it and it's like this, do you guys remember the, the thing that held all the DVDs or CDs when you were in the car? It was like this little zip lock thing and it had all these slots where you would slide your CDs in. Okay, it was like one of those. And I'm like, what did this guy do? And I'm starting to panic. So I'm thinking, oh my God, he just like did the ultimate guy thing where he burned all these love song CDs and I'm starting to panic. So I'm like, Oh my God, he thinks there's, this is more than what it is. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. And he's laughing and he's like, read, you know, take the thing off the first slot. And I took the thing off the first slot and you guys, he had somebody because you could snorkels didn't come in a DVD. It was so old. There was no such thing. And what he did was have somebody find the episodes, all seasons, and he had them burned onto a CD, CDs, plural, so that I could, that's kind of what we're just doing. We're going to just do that. It is, it's going to be what it's going to be. I was flabbergasted. I couldn't believe it. I was like, it was the nicest thing somebody had ever done for me. And I think I should do halves. Okay, let's, we'll do this one over here. Do we want to do it slanted? We'll do, go ahead and do it slanted. And then let's try cutting them and see what happens. Anyways, still one of the nicest gifts I've ever had is somebody to go out of their way to bring me a piece of my childhood that did not exist, but he found and paid for somebody to do it and they did it and I still have it to this day. 
And so my kids know about the snorkels because once I got it, they were like, what is this? And they would just sit there for hours and watch the episodes. So that is my story about the snorkels. Oh, okay, so that kind of looks good too, right? Cutting them in half instead of this big thing. All right, Noelia, we're just figuring it out together, you guys. Figuring it out together. I, You guys know I like cutting things in half. Yeah, I think the half ones look not so... We could do some big ones and then some half ones. That's what we're going to do. So that is my story. I can take this out now because I know what I was supposed to say. See, I have to do that for myself. Is leave notes about what I actually intend to say instead of going into tangents. But yeah. So yeah, things like that. It's just funny because I, it, I realize how old I am that not everybody knows what the snorkels are or what Smurfs are. I guess people know Smurfs because they keep redo. There's so many reboots. Isn't that annoying? They're rebooting all the stuff from my generation because we're so awesome. Do I want to do it that way? Let's do it like that in the middle. That's your, one of the stories of getting to know me. There's a couple folded in there, huh? There was like the, the me living in a migrant camp, the me staying up at night to watch Arsenio Hall. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's so many stories that I could tell you guys. I will save them for another time. I really like these hexagons, you guys. I really do. I think they're super cool. I think it's very different, right? It's not the lovey-dovey hearts and roses for, um, for February. But I wanted to do... My kids are part Asian. Um, they're part Japanese. And so even though it's Chinese New Year, I was like, let's... And I fell in love with this photo, you guys. Like, you guys know me. Like, if I fall in love with the photo, there's no going back from that. I will try my hardest to incorporate something into it to make it beauteous. So, I like it. Maybe other people don't, but I really love this specific one this time. It's very different. There's your funny anecdote for this plan with me. If you do know what the snorkels are, I would love, 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 love for you guys to leave a comment down below. Okay, that is this. Again, the color scheme we use, the Tombow is 526. We are doing this beautiful Asian theme. I'm trying to get the glare out of it. She's ab the colors, you guys. Can you see how beautifully the cover the colors mix together? The blue in her hair is why I chose this blue. And then, like I said, the photo didn't have any of these hexagons, but I knew I needed something to tie in the sticker with that red stripe. And so I added the hexagons on Canva to create that sticker. And um, for those of you who don't know, I create everything on Canva. Like I created the stickers and then I just cut them to size. I test out the sizes. So like for instance, I have the two sizes, the smaller size and then this bigger size that I knew I was going to cut in half. And then I create all my words and my time thingies. No, I don't sell them. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll create a little sheet that you could just um, upload into your silhouette and just cut it. I don't know. If I could figure that out, I will do it for sure. Okay, now we need to go to February. I forget this part. We need to do February. And I'm trying to decide if I want... Here you can see that I did the color on the edges. I'm not sure I want to do that for... Do I? 
part of me says we already started it. We might as well do it. I'm so sorry if this video is 500 hours long. Do I? No, well, you just do it. Just stick. I'm a little afraid, but it is what it is. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. So let's do a small one. One of my quirks, um, the kids say it's part of my um, ADHD, but one of my quirks is that I speak in songs. So like for instance, the other day, I don't know what Belle was doing and she said something and it triggers a song in my head, it just does. I I get triggered and then I, I can't move on with the discussion until I sing that part of the song. So that's part of my crazy. I don't think that is gonna work. I think that one is gonna be it. Yeah, I think that one is gonna be it because there's we really can't add any more. So there's that one. Now let's go to the monthlies, which is here. The difficulty is that blue was really blue, right? And so it's interesting. I guess we can do this bottom. I have to try to be straight though. And then we'll do one like this. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just doing it. We just want to tie it in. Doot, 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 doot. All right. And then do we make one like this? Because that is the, that was the theme in the first part. I'd say so. Ooh, that came out nice, you guys. That came out nice. Ooh, Noelia, you did good, girl. You did good. Love it. Love it. Okay. Okay, I don't know where I left off because my son just came into the room. But I, the last part is to tip in this girl into February. Somebody reminded me, because you guys watch how, how I always have a difficult time doing the tip-ins, and you reminded me that I had this really tiny tape. Am I off camera? Poor Noelia. Look how tiny that is. I am going to attempt. This is always the dun da da dun part of whether I'm gonna be able to do it or not. Okay, I never know how to do this the right way. I do it, I'm doing it off camera, trying to just put the tape halfway on her. Because, oh, somebody used, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Somebody used, or she said, that somebody used like the end of this <gasps> it worked. Somebody used like a card to lay it flat. Oh my word, you guys. So now I just need a little piece right there. It worked. It worked. Oh my Lord. See, I'm behind the game most of the time, but I'm okay with it. All right, let's get a bigger piece so that we can just do these edges really quick and just put that down and then we'll do the same thing. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's crazy town. There's your story, your bonker story for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And little stories for you to get to know me and my, my background. All right, there we go. There is our February theme. She's absolutely stunning. There is our color. Again, our color is 526. 
and we're bringing in, where's this girl? We're bringing in the stripes and the hexagons. I hope that those are hexagons. Otherwise, I will look like a dork. And yeah, and so we're bringing those two colors in so that when I have my dashboard in here, it's just perfection for February. Again, to honor Chinese New Year, it is the year of the dragon. I am a dragon. I just wanted to have this vibe for February and I absolutely love her. I love her. So I'm not going to do the writing in of stuff just because I think this video is already 500 minutes long. So I will do that off camera and then be on the lookout for all the other videos that I'm putting out this week. Like I said, if you are new here and you enjoyed this craziness and this kind of planner content and crazy chatting that I do, feel free to like and subscribe to this channel. For all my regulars, I adore you guys. All right, everybody, I think that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.